sure about that? Amen. Well, give the Lord a hand of praise for your time. That's my friend back there that's son today. Uh, that's the first time I've heard a live saying, Amen. And I, I was thoroughly. Were you blessed? Amen. You blessed? Yeah. She supposed to have been singing with me in How Team. And she couldn't make it last last was it last year. She was supposed to come to How Team and she couldn't make it. Uh, but I think she's gonna have to come to America now. Amen. 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 Come on, look at your neighbor and say, don't hate, celebrate. Come on, don't hate. Amen, because your man of God is also coming to America. Amen. Yeah, he's coming to America too. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, if you don't hate, you can come too. Amen. 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 He might want to bring a team with him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you blessed today? Amen. All right. Before you sit down, look at your neighbor and say, this hand clap is for you. Come on, clap it. You may be seated this from his amen. I am so, so godly thankful for being able to be here with you today. Amen. 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 And, uh, there is no better place to be right now than right here. Amen. Amen. I'm not talking about in the building. I'm talking about in the presence. Amen. Amen. Because surely the presence of the Lord oh, is in this place. Amen. Amen. That's what is in this place. Amen. Amen. I don't know about all the other churches around here. Amen. I know I know some other churches around here, but I know the presence of God is in this house. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So I'm so glad to be here. If you can stop that just for a second, because that music right there pulls me into a vein that I don't need to get into right, right at this moment. Amen. Certain sounds make certain moves. Amen. Yes, yes, amen. Yeah, so certain sounds make for certain moves. And for some of you understand certain sounds make certain moods. Yes, yes. No. M-O-O-D. Come on, say amen. Yes, okay. Yes, amen. You know how certain music, you know, back in the day, come on, talk to me some. Yes, yes. And for some of y'all in today, come on, say amen. Yes. Certain songs bring you into the mood, amen? Yeah. Amen. So I don't want that sound pulls me into a mood, amen? And I, I need to wait on that, amen? How many How many know that I'm an author? Amen. How many, you know? Well, where have you been? <laughs> no. Is that your wife? Next year. This is my daughter. It's your daughter. Oh, praise, praise the Lord. I was going to say, because you look kind of, praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I was about to call you a blessing. Yeah. Uh, you're a blessing. Amen. Amen. Now, I, 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 I enjoy church, so you, you don't like having fun. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You don't Amen. need me to be here. Amen. Yeah. So praise yeah. the Lord. Amen. Amen. But I'm an author, and uh, how many how many have one of my books? Let me see your hands up. Wow. Only Apostle has my books. That's a shame. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, you are in sin. <laughs> But today you're gonna get a book, right? Amen. Right? Amen. You're get, now, now they're not free. <laughs> Let's try it again. Today you're gonna get a book, amen. amen. I, I heard some prophets in the house. Some prophets are in the house. How many prophets are in the house? How many know God's called you to be a prophet? You believe God's called you to be a prophet, amen. Let me see the hand. Come on, put your hand up high. Don't be scared. Amen. Don't, don't be shy. Don't be shy. All right. I know, I know you are. Amen. And this woman of God prayed. My God, she prayed me. She prayed the Lord. She prayed. Amen. Didn't she pray? Yes. Made me want to stand up. Amen. I, Hallelujah. You prayed. I'm telling you. Amen. You, 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 you got a prophetic thing on YouTube. Amen. Yes. Amen. Anyway, I wrote, I wrote a book uh, a number of years ago called Prophets. We're not weird. We're different. And, uh, Apostle, when I wrote this book, I don't you have this one? Okay. When I wrote this book, I wrote it, it was 37 pages, I think it was, when I first wrote this book. And uh, uh, that's all I knew. Say amen. amen. Uh, back in 1997. Some of you weren't even born. Come on. Yeah. I wrote this book in 1997. And, uh, and from that point, uh, I, I revised it uh, about two years ago, maybe two, 
two to three years ago, and now it's about 150 pages, I think. Well, it's over 100 pages, I know that. Over 100 pages, and uh, that tells me God told me more. Amen. 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 Tell somebody growth. Growth is necessary. Yeah, I wrote that, but in the process of writing this book, I also found out, uh, when I first wrote this book, I thought I was a prophet. Yeah, I thought I was a prophet. And it's because I had not yet known uh, uh, my high calling. Somebody say high calling. High calling. Yeah, there, there's a high calling on every one of our lives. Yes. Most people never get to that high calling. They get to their mid. Right. Yeah, they never get to the high calling. Say amen. Now, now, the book is not about that. I'm just telling you, amen. So I'm trying to help somebody right now. You need to move to the Look at your name and say higher. Higher. You got to come up higher. Amen. Higher. I said you got to come up higher. Amen. Higher. Just like this man of God is not, he's not a local uh, apostle. Amen. Watch this. He's not even a South African apostle. Amen. He's not even a, uh, an African apostle. Amen. Amen. He's a global apostle. Just like uh, 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 Esther, she's not she she's been been bound to local, amen. But she's both she's bigger than local. Yes. Come on, take your neighbor. Come on, y'all. Take your neighbor again. Say, don't hate, celebrate. Come on. Don't hate, celebrate. Amen. Stop hating, amen. Stay. Yes. God, God will bless you too, amen. That's yes. how, Hallelujah. Some of you not just a girlfriend, your wife. Come on, praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, got quiet right there. <laughs> I was trying to slip it in real fast, you know. <laughs> Amen. But this book here, it talks. It, I, I read this book. I wrote this book talking to, uh, to prophets about uh, why they are the way they are, because prophets are normally not uh, people that are around a lot of people. They're normally quiet. Say amen. Believe it or not, they're quiet. Amen. Believe it or not, they all they, they look like they are people that don't want to be bothered with anybody. Say amen, somebody. Amen. And then when they start ministry, you know what I'm talking about, right? Amen. She's she smiling. Amen. She knows I'm talking about her. Amen. And then uh, then people start thinking something is wrong with them. Amen. When nothing is wrong with them. Amen. Yeah, amen. They're just different. Yes. yes. That's right. That's right. Prophets are eagles. Amen. Yeah. Right. You understand the eagle yeah. hangs out by themselves. Amen. Yes. They don't they don't hang with ducks. Come on, talk to me. They don't hang with pigeons, amen. They don't hang with they don't hang with turkeys. Come on, yeah, yeah. say amen, ladies, amen. amen. <laughs> they don't hang with, with peacocks. Yeah. Yeah. And they definitely don't hang with and cuckoos, amen. <laughs> y'all y'all say cuckoo. Y'all use the y'all know what a cuckoo is, amen. Kentucky fried cuckoo, amen. <laughs> Matthew says in cuckoo. Come on, y'all. All right. Anyway, so they don't hang out. They hang out mostly by themselves and people don't understand them. And they're not meant to be understood. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because if they if they start being understood, then they'll become common to every man. Jesus. Amen. And I, and I also wrote, in the, right, when I wrote in this book, I had to add some things to it. Uh, to talk, I had to talk a little bit about false prophets. Yeah. I've, I've been to 38 nations preaching the gospel. That's, that's, where I was, that's where I preached. I've been to more than 38 nations, but that's where I preached. And, and, and of, of all the 38 nations I've preached at, South Africa has had the most false prophets that I've ever known. You know why? It's because it's because of ignorance. Yes. When you are ignorant of a thing, you will most likely be uh, deceived by it. That's why a guy can go and buy a ring that has a, a stone that, that looks like a diamond. Yeah. Yeah. And because you are ignorant, come on, say amen. You don't know that he got that out the cookie jar. Come on, say amen. Yeah. So you have to understand, ignorance is always uh, a, a thing that keeps you from, from, from what you what you really can have. And also, uh, the, the, the difference between uh, true false prophets and false prophets is this: is not all false prophets are demonic. Mm, yeah. Sometimes you're false because your ministry is not operating based on truth. Yes. Yeah. And the opposite of truth is false. 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 Amen. Yeah. So that's why a lot of prophets that we see today, they're, they, they, they're, they are weird. Come on, say amen. Because yeah. They are weird because they're not operating according to truth. Amen. You ever, you ever seen that prophet that looks so deep? He's so deep, he looks like he's smelling something. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. 
You need to get this book. Amen. I only have a few of them, so whatever I tell you, you got to get. You better hear me get. Here's another good one. Apostle has this one. Not enough fathers, not enough sons. I want to talk about. It. He can tell you about that one. Amen. Here's Amen. another one. I think you have this one too. Beyond ordinary leadership. Today, you cannot be an ordinary leader. We are not in ordinary times. Yes. The church 20 years ago is not the church today. Yes. The church 10 years ago is not the church today. Yes. The church five years ago is not the church today. Yes. The church pre-COVID is not the church yes. today. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. You can't be that. And so, uh, uh, there's some more. I, I will give you pastors. If you have a calling to be a pastor, that will be also good for you. This is not last. Two. These last two I talk about. Well, three. Uh, uh, is this is called the fivefold. If you don't know which one you're called to, then read this book. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes people like I, I thought I was a prophet, and I found out I wasn't. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And so, so uh, when you when you don't know what you are, you're bound to be unsuccessful. Yes. And when you're unsuccessful, you get low self-esteem. You want to quit. You want to give up. Say amen, somebody. Amen. So I also write for a Bible college. And when I wrote the, when I wrote this, I took some of my nuggets from a Bible college that I write to, for, and I put this together. Uh, and it tells you, it talks about the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, and teacher. This church needs this. Amen. And I'll tell you why. Because this church is going to be a model for the fivefold. Amen. Don't let what your eyes see make you feel like this is what you're going to always see. Amen. You with me? Amen. I said, don't let what you, listen, 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 the girl, them girls came up here. I'm going to give all of them 50, 50 rand. All of them. Everyone, I'm going to give each one of them 50 yeah. rand. Because so they came up here. And in spite of everything that was going on, my girl right there, my girl, my girl in the white, yeah, my girl right there. Stand up for a second, right there, my girl. No, no, the one right there, right there. She's the one that slipped. She kept on doing her thing. Amen. She got right back up. Come right back in there. Because she's not a quitter. So I want to encourage her. Amen. I'm going to be a blessing to her. Amen. That's your daughter? No. Who, who's her daughter? Who, who's her mother? Her father? They're not here. I'm sorry. You go home and tell them that the, the apostle said, you're not a quitter. Amen. His book here is called uh, uh, called the uh, he got me too around here uh, the 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 fivefold so you can understand what what he, and you can also take away the ignorance in your life so you won't be deceived no more by the false prophets yes. false apostles come on say amen false amen. pastors and, and plus you can learn a little something amen and then this last one the armor bear this book right here is so revolutionary and so revelatory that it, it, I I would have bought it if I didn't write it. <laughs> No, I'm serious. This this book, I learned that many times we choose people to be armor bearers that God never chose. Yes. Because when you look at scripture, every armor bearer was next. Yes. Yes. Joshua was an armor bearer for Moses. Yeah. Yes. Why? Because he was next. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Y'all still with me? Yes. Are yes. you sure you're still with me? Yes. Yes. Timothy was an armor bearer to Paul. Yes. Because he was next. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. If you're going to be next, you've got to be the man of God's armor bearer. Yes. That's true. Yes. Sorry. Y'all ain't got to give me no amens. I'm going to say amen to myself. Amen. <laughs> uh, this book right here is uh, every prophet, again, needs this one. This is, about, this is a school of the prophets training manual. Hallelujah. Prophets don't have anywhere to be trained. So, you can go to school for pastor. Come on, say amen. You can go to school for evangelism. Come yeah. on, say amen. You go to school for teaching. Yeah. Yes. But you don't find any schools for prophets. Yeah. Yes. So I used to do a school of the prophets. I, I, I didn't, haven't done it since before COVID. But I, I would, do, would, would do a school of the prophets every year. Yeah. And so I took all the nuggets, well, not all the nuggets, a lot of the nuggets that I know, and I put it in a training manual. And, and, and it's, it's, you have, listen, this book takes you to school. Amen. This is not just a read thing. This is not something you just pick up and read. And get happy about. No, you're gonna do some scripts, some stuff studying in the scriptures. Come on, say amen. You're gonna, amen. you're gonna have to write some stuff, and I don't have to be there. Say amen. You, amen. Just send me my offering. Amen. That's all I have to say. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. All right, all right. The books will be available right after I get through preaching. Amen. amen. Grab your Bible, stand on your feet with me quickly. Second Peter chapter number one. Thank you, Apostle. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Apostle. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Stand on your feet even if you don't have a Bible. Second Peter chapter number one. When you got it, shout, I got it. Yes. All right. Some of y'all don't have it. If you don't have a shot, I'm on my way. Oh, there's some slow people. Amen. Praise God. Are you sitting next to the slow person? Help them, help them find Peter. Tell them Peter is not in the Old Testament. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. No, we're glad you got a Bible. Amen. We're glad you're looking for it. Amen. The ones that do have it, hold your Bible up high or whatever you're going to use for a Bible and shout, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. I can hear you. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. The Word of God. The Word of God. God breathe. God breathe. There is no error. There is no error. In the Word of God. Come on, shout, I am. I am. All. All. The Word says I am. The Word says I can do. All. The Word says I can do. I will have. All. The Word says I will have. Everybody shout, I am a believer. I am a believer. I'm a receiver. I am a receiver. That settles it. In Jesus' name. God, they do you. Why are you standing? Look with me in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse number 10. It says, Wherefore the rather, brethren, Give diligence. Somebody shout diligence. Yes. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Mm -hmm. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Amen. He says, verse 11, For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly unto the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in. Everybody said always. Always. Always in remembrance of these things, though you know them, and be established in the present truth. Say present truth. Present truth. Slide in and say present truth. Present truth. Tell your neighbor, there is present truth for us today. Yes. Right, let's pray. Father, we thank you for the word of God. I thank you that it shall not return unto you, boy. Now, Father, as I release your word, I can do nothing without you. I depend completely on you. I thank you for the prayer that's already been prayed. And I, I agree with the prayer, Father, that you will anoint me afresh, that your will will be done and your kingdom will come. Now edify your people that you might be glorified, that they might be fruitful, O oh God, and that the fruit might remain. I come against every work of the witch, every work of the warlock, every witch, every warlock, every sorcery, all divination. I bind it in the name of Jesus. I send it back to the sender and I declare no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. I declare even I declare it be broken now in Jesus name and the believer said Amen. Amen. The gates of hell shall not prevail against bosom. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes when I go to a church, I really don't know a title of a message. Uh, all I know is what God has said. Amen. And not all of what he said, but some of what he said. Amen. Because none of us never know all of what he's saying. Amen. So any preacher that tells you they know everything God said, they're, they're not telling the truth. Amen. Amen. Now, Every revelation that God releases requires reception. Say reception. reception. Say it again. Say reception. reception. Every revelation that God releases requires application. application. Say application. application. Every revelation God releases requires participation. participation. Yeah. I, I know I'm starting a little different. I know you're not used to that, but I'm You'll be all right. Say amen. Just hang, amen. Just hang in there. Yeah. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this plane off the ground in just a second. Amen. But amen. you know when you sit next to me, I, I, I flew in this morning. Whether you know that I got up at six o'clock. I mean, I got up at four o'clock to make it to the airport by five to leave here to leave at six. You know, so I've been moving the longest. Amen. Praise amen. God. And my prayer time was at three. Wow. And my midnight prayers. Amen. Wow. So, amen. so if I go to sleep up here, praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> But here's the thing. There is always a transformation and a manifestation that will always come from revelation. Yeah. Now, the, the level of revelation that God releases is always determined by the receiver. Yes. Yes. Amen. 
it is not just determined by the, the person that is releasing it. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Because we can only release to you at the level of your ability to receive it. Amen. Are you still with me? Yes. The Bible talks about deep calling unto deep. God yes. wants you to have deep things. Amen. Are you still with me? Now? Yes. Now, I don't mean deep when, when you can't get it. Come on, because that's not deep. Amen. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's just not deep. That's not God. God always releases it at the level of your receptivity. Say amen, somebody. Amen. So now here, when we, we look at the script, these scriptures for just a few minutes, we find out that uh, Peter, when he writes this, he says, he says, wherefore the wrath of brother, give diligence. Say diligence. diligence. Most believers are not diligent. Most believers are negligent when it comes to their calling and their assignment. Are you still with me? Yes. I'll say it again. Most believers are not diligent. They're negligent when it comes to their calling and their assignment. Say amen. amen. Now, every person in here has a calling. Yes. Yes. It may not be fivefold. Say amen. But, but you are called to do something. Yes. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. I said, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Every church has a calling. Yes. Amen. Amen. You're not called to be like the church downstairs. Yes. You have your own specific calling. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Because if every if if you if, if, if the, the our people used to come to my church and they would they would they would come and they'd be blessed and then all of a sudden they would tell us uh, that well, we didn't do that at Bishop's Church. We're not at Bishop's Church. Say amen. Amen. This is, amen. Come on. Yeah. Amen. 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 So, so you have to understand, as I shared earlier, that everybody has a calling, but also everybody has a high calling. And every church has a high calling. Say amen. amen. But in order for you to see it manifest, you have to understand that number one, you have to be diligent. Amen. 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 You will never come to who you really are until you put forth diligence. Yes. Are you still with me? Amen. I said, are you still with me? Amen. Now watch what he says. Verse 11 says, for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you. There is an interest God has on each person's life to enter into more than they already are. It's a place called abundance. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. I said it's a place called abundance. Rather, rather this, this church has more members than it has right now. Amen. It's called abundance. Amen. Amen. You have more money than you have right now. Amen. It's called abundance. See, I know you said that. I know you are right now. <laughs> Every person has access to abundance, but you have to understand that your abundance is connected to your diligence to your calling and your election. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says, and a man shall enjoy the fruit of his labor. You don't just enjoy the fruit of everybody's labor. Say amen, somebody. You have to understand, God wants you to enjoy the fruit of your own labor. Come on, talk to me. Look at your neighbor and say, I've got some fruit that you don't know nothing about. Amen. <laughs> but now where we want to go with this, uh, where I wanna, want you to get this, get to, is in verse number 12. He says, wherefore I will not be negligent. Negligent. Because, again, people that are not diligent are negligent. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. But he says, but he says, to put you always in remembrance of these things, though you know them, Somebody say, and. Yeah. Now, here's what we're going to And be established in the present truth. Now, here's what you've got to understand. And that is, is that there is truth that is past. There is truth that is present. And there is truth that is future. Truth that is past is no longer good for you. Because truth that is past is what the Bible considers old manner. Amen. Yeah. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. Some of you may not know, know, know what I'm saying, but in you know, Exodus, uh, the, the Bible says that God would drop manna down from heaven. Yeah. And they could only eat the manna for that day. Yeah. If they tried to eat the manna for that day, if they held on to it and tried to eat it for the next day, the manna would get worms in it. Some would still try to eat it, and they would get sick. Yeah. Yes. And that's what you have. Many churches, 
that are that pastors that don't hear from God are feeding the people old manna. Amen. And they're getting sick. Come on, say amen. amen. And I'm going to tell the ones that's looking at me right now. If you sick and tired, come on, say amen, amen. of the church that you're in, there's a church called Bosom. I said, amen. amen. Many people are not, are not able to achieve what they're supposed to achieve because they're still being fed old manna. Yes. Past truth. Say amen, somebody. Amen. I said, past truth. Amen. amen. So what God does, and what God does, is that's one of the reasons he, he raises up apostles. Because apostles, the dominant grace of an apostle, the dominant grace for doing of an apostle is revelation. Amen. Revelation is what brings you to present truth. Hallelujah. Prophecy gives you future truth. Amen. Yeah. Son. Are you still with me? Yeah. Prophecy always tells you of what's going to happen. Say amen. Yeah. But, but revelation brings you into what is happening. When God sends an apostle in your midst, listen to me. When God sends an apostle in your midst, they are sent to pull you from the past. Into your presence. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I said, are you hearing what I'm saying? The way they do that is they release present truth or they release revelation. Say revelation. What is revelation? Revelation is something your eyes have not seen. Amen. How many are ready for something your eyes have not seen? Amen. Amen. I said, how many are ready for something your eyes have not seen? Amen. Hallelujah. Revelation is releasing something your ears have not heard. Say amen. amen. That's why I tell the people all the time, the devil has not stolen everything from you. Amen. amen. Because God is now prepared a table. Come on, y'all. God has prepared a table before me in the presence of Look at your name and say, all oh, my haters are going to see me celebrate. I said, hallelujah. I don't care if you don't like me. He's still prepared a table before me. Look at your name and say, like me or not, I'm going to eat at my table. Amen. You better hope I might treat you like my Sheba Festival. <laughs> My people chef, say amen. You know, the chef. Come on, say amen. I call him Lewis. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I can't help some of y'all got names like speaking in tongues. Amen. I, I can't even interpret the name. Come on, say amen. Let's, let's say the name. So you have to understand that God has past truth. He has present truth. And then he has future truth. Amen. Now, what you want, what, what you want, to, to, uh, you definitely want future truth. Amen. But future truth is no good for you if you're not going to go to the future. God designed us to live off of present truth. Because, again, manna was made for each day. So, on Friday, they, could, they couldn't get manna for Saturday. And they couldn't keep the manna from Thursday. Are you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you do understand the days of the week. Amen. Right now. Okay. So, so you have to understand that, that what God has for you today, you're going to have to come into. Yes. Now, now, I, I was preaching yesterday in uh, Soweto. I was preaching in Soweto yesterday. And uh, uh, I, God released something that, that so, moved, so blessed me. And he said, he said, son, there's coming a move of God that's going to move the people. That will allow him to move. Amen. Because every, okay, everything God does, he does it based on a word. He will do nothing except he reveal it first. He says, uh, Behold, I do a new thing. Then he says, Shall you not know it? Because every time God is going to do something, it always begins with a word. And God said, yes. are, you, are you still with me? Yes. I saw you still with me. Amen. He said, so shall my word go out of my mouth. Say amen. amen. And it shall accomplish that. Come on, y'all. Say amen. amen. It shall accomplish that which I sent it out to do. So everything, somebody say everything, amen. begins with a word. 
Oh, come on, so, but see, you got to understand, but the word has got to be for your day. Amen. Because hey, if, it's not a, if it's not for this day, it's not a word from God. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. So everything, everybody say everything. Amen. Everything begins with the word. Now the question is, can you handle the word that God releases? Amen. That's the thing. Because many people... They say they want a word, but they don't really want the word God wants to give them. Mm -hmm. What they want is the word they want to hear. Mm -hmm. Even your healing has to have a word. Amen. He sent his word. Come on, say amen. amen. Some of y'all can hear right now. Amen. He sent his word. I said he sent his word. Amen. And he healed all their sicknesses and all their... Come on, somebody say, I'm healed today. Hallelujah. I'm delivered today. Hallelujah. Your sister is healed today. Hallelujah. He sent his word. You heard the song. He I just give me a word. Hallelujah. Everybody said you got to have a word. Hallelujah. I said you got to have a word. Hallelujah. Now the word that you hear determines the season that you come into. The word that you hear determines the season. Okay. Now let me say this. Seasons, breakthroughs, all. Uh, Change or transformation, they don't happen when they happen to you. The moment your breakthrough happened is the moment God said it. The moment. Because a season for God is not based on times and calendars and clocks. Come on, say amen. It's based on a word from God. Look at your neighbor and say, can you handle the truth? Hallelujah. Okay, watch this, watch this. Jesus was the word. We can even say Jesus is the word. Here's the word coming to John the Baptist. We haven't heard from the word, come on, say amen, until he turns 30. We only heard from him one time when he was 12. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here he comes, comes to, to John to be baptized with John. The word comes to get baptized. Uh, okay, now, that's okay. not that's not nothing, nothing special, amen. But this is what got me. The word got baptized. The word comes out of the water. The the clouds open up. Right? Yeah. Watch this. The clouds open up. The first heaven. The second heaven. And the third heaven, y'all do know that, right? Yes. The third heaven opens up, and that's where the Father is. And the Father speaks out of heaven. And he says what? This is my son. Oh, y'all know the Bible. Amen. He, he says what? This is my beloved son, and whom I'm well pleased. Who heard it? Who heard it? Jesus heard it. Who else heard it? John the Baptist heard it. Who else heard it? All those people around there heard it. Say amen. amen. But who else heard it? The amen. devil heard it. Say amen, somebody. Amen. So whenever you get a word, a true word from God, even the devil hears it. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says that, that the thief, he comes immediately. That's what's been happening. Amen. I'm telling you. God was trying to bring you into your day. But he couldn't bring you into your day because every time he released a word, you let the devil steal it. Yeah. See, the devil don't want your car. You don't even want it. I used to think the devil wanted my car when I was growing up. But when I, when, I, when I first started pastoring, I thought the devil wanted my car. But my car, listen, why would the devil want a car that sounds like it's sick? <laughs> I mean, you ever started your car and it sounded like it, come on, say amen, like it needed a little therapy or something, come on, talk. Like you need to take it to the doctor. That's the, and my, my car was that bad, and, and, uh, and you know, it, it started, it, it, when I did finally get it started, it was smoking. Smoking outside, come on, say amen. Eventually it started smoking on the inside, amen. My son, he was about four years old, he pulled my pants down one day, he said, Daddy, you need to take the car to the doctor, Amen. <laughs> So the devil doesn't want my car. The devil has cars. Y'all do know the devil has cars, right? Now. 
I'm trying, my, maybe, he, yeah, maybe it's your boyfriend, but anyway, but I'm saying, you know, <laughs> the devil does, does not care about your car. Yeah. So he doesn't come to steal your car. Yes. Yes. He doesn't want your house. Amen. Yeah. You don't even want to live there. Come on, somebody say amen. Yeah. He don't want your boyfriend. Say amen. Praise the Lord. He don't want your husband either. But you have to understand what he does want, what you but he knows that will change your life, which is the word. Are you still with me? Which is what? Which is what? Now, now. The level of the word that comes to you now is going to determine the level of your life. Remember, Jesus said, I come that they might have. So that means the life you're living right now is the life, not the life he wants you to live. Glory to God. Amen. And I, let me help you out. The life you're living right now is not the life you have to live. Get your name said, no more living this life. Amen. I had a lady in my church. She took this word so serious, she went home and started putting stuff out of her house. Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. They thought she was having a garage. So she said, No, I'm getting ready for more. Hallelujah. I'm getting, I'm getting ready for some new stuff. Is anybody getting ready for some new stuff? Are you getting ready for some more money? Come on, say amen. Are you getting ready for a new car? Hallelujah. Are you getting ready for a new house? Are you getting ready for a new spouse? Get your neighbor say no shame in my game. Come on, say it. It's a promise from God. God promised spouses, didn't he? One, not one, not, not, not five. Come on, one, one. Not five. Oh, just one. Yeah. Oh, watch this sister right there. Pray for that sister in the back. Amen. <laughs> Somebody say one, one. one. Uh, tell your neighbor, don't be the woman at the well. Come on, say amen. Now, now, so God has more. And people, listen, listen. I'm, I'm going to get to the deep stuff, is that the stuff that you want to hear just saying, but, but, but God has no problem with you wanting more. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all got quiet. That's right. Look, okay. I used to have seven cars. Seven. Yeah. Bought four of them, and three of them, uh, two of them were given to me. Say amen. Amen. Yeah, and one was, was, was not mine. Come on, say amen. I don't, amen. I don't say whose it was. Amen, but it wasn't mine. <laughs> seven cars. People were asking, why do you need seven cars? I said, because they're available. Hallelujah. <laughs> why do I have to have one car? Exactly. There's nothing in the Bible that says I got to have one. Amen. Yes. The Bible says over in Psalms 115 that God said he would increase you. Amen. More. And more. And come on, come on. Come, see, somebody know the Bible. Amen. Amen. More. Who said that? And more. That was you? That was you. Come, the brothers know what I'm talking about. Amen. amen. And that's one wife. Come on, say amen. amen. Somebody say more. more. And more. And more. And more. I was in, if I was in one of these, uh, Af these uh, South African uh, black churches, they, I would ask them what the word more mean in their language. Amen. So what is more in Afri Afrikaan? I know some of y'all know Afrikaan around here. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Mia. Yeah. Did I say that? Mia? Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. 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 Come on. <laughs> Mia? Mir, am I saying it right? Mir, okay. Somebody say Mir, Mir. And Mir. And, come on, come on, come on. Am I saying it wrong? I'm close, but I bet you know what more is. I might not be able to say Mir, but you sure know what more, don't you? Hallelujah. Come on, say more, more. Say more is coming my way. More is coming my way. More than I've ever had before. And more. Hallelujah. More is coming. More members are coming. More money is coming. More business is coming. More travel is coming. More good people. Uh, come on, somebody. Come on, say more. I tell your neighbor, if you don't want your more, I'll get your more too. Amen.
Så ikke sker det her mor. Amen. Jo, det sker det mor. Amen. Så sagde man som dig. Yeah. I, I used to have, I, mean, I, have I don't wear them no more. I used to wear suits. I used to wear suits every day. Yeah. People like, why you gotta have all those suits? Because they're on sale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I, I trust the promises of God. You can trust what you want to trust. Yeah, yeah. You can listen to religious folks if you want to. Yeah, yeah. I don't care about the religious folk. Amen. Yeah. I just want them to go to heaven. Just go to heaven. Leave me alone. Amen. Yeah. I, I could say the other word. Amen. But I'm in heaven. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, so now, uh, when you talk like this, however, some people can't handle that level of revelation. Yeah. Yeah. See, this, this church, okay, this church, This is, if there is more than one bosom. It's too many pastors up in here. Come on, say amen. And y'all, y'all, I mean, I mean, you know, people in the, in the black church in America, they used to be sitting in the church and be about 25 member pastors, ministers up there, you know, sitting all up in the pulpit, looking like, come on, say amen. Like, amen. Uh, and they're all waiting on the pastor to die. Because they want this spot. Amen. Now, 25 of them up there, but ain't but one going to get his spot. Amen. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Hey, hey, listen, I don't care how many are here, ain't nobody going to get this. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. I said praise the Lord. Amen. See, there's more bosoms, but, but, but you got to understand, in order for bosom, to, for, 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 for this, this multiplication of, of bosom to happen, you're going to have to, you got to become diligent. Amen. Amen. And making your calling and election sure. Say amen. amen. And you're going to have to be co- Diligent to make sure Muslims calling an election is sure. Yeah. Oh, it's quiet to see. Yeah. When God speaks to a church, he speaks to two different entities. Mm. Most people only hear one. Mm. The one entity that he that they hear is the one is the member ment, uh, entity. They only hear for themselves. Mm. So if you're not preaching about something for them, they don't want to hear it. Mm. But God also speaks to them to them to, to the to the one body entity. Say one body. one body. Which means God speaks to you, to you about what the church needs to do. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, that's us. Yes. Say, that's not him. That's not, you. that's not him. That's not you. And that's not just me. That's not say, that's us. that's us. God speaks to a church about what the church's assignment is. Amen. Amen. I said, amen. amen. Not everybody does not want to hear what the church is called to do. They want to hear what they're called to do. What they don't get. Yeah. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, well, just send yourself. Amen. <laughs> so that's why those type of people are not even givers. Yeah. Unless something, some prophet, some lying prophet comes through town. Come on, say amen. And, amen. and starts to the yes. proper lying. Come on, say amen. Because yeah. there are prophets that will proper lie. Yes. So your money. Yes. They tell you whatever you want to hear. Say amen. Yes. So they can get your money. So yes. come on, look at me like that. Amen. Yes. Yes. This saying, huh? Really? Yeah, really, really, really. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. They tell your neighbor, say, yep, that's true. Yes. Amen. That's the truth. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Because they got they, they got my money. Come on, go and tell the truth. Tell the truth. Yes. Yes. Y'all know, y'all know people. I'm not gonna talk about the Bible. I'm going to keep names out of it. Amen. amen. Yeah. Y'all know people that got ran to Ma- 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 Malawi. Come on, say amen. Yeah. Y'all don't know the guy that got ran to Malawi? No. 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 You know what I'm talking about. Praise the Lord. Oh, well, my God. What have y'all been? Amen. This is not, that's old news. Amen. Oh, y'all so busy waiting on the elections. <laughs> y'all deep. Y'all been waiting for the, how many years it's been for? I've been waiting these four years. I think that y'all ain't know nothing about the last two. Amen. So, but no, no. I've got a lot of false prophets will come in and, and, and prophesy to you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because your 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 ears are only for you. Yeah. But the Bible says, "He that hath ears to hear, yeah. let him hear what the Spirit said to the churches." Yeah. 
this church has to be hearing what church is. Church is. Hallelujah. A church in Johannesburg. A, ch a church in England. A church. Come on. Let's look at it right like there. He's got to, he's got to hear what church is. And you've got to be responsible for church is. Amen. Now some of y'all looking at me like that. But you might be moving. You might be moving. See, every time God plants a church, He uses people to be the seed. The the prophets and the teachers were were praying one day in the in the church of Antioch, Acts chapter thirteen, I think it is. And while they're praying, uh, Paul, the, the the Holy Ghost spoke. Everybody said the Holy Ghost spoke. <laughs> Holy Ghost spoke and said, separate me, Paul and Barnabas, for the work I called them to. Amen. See, God will speak to the speak to the leader, the leader and the leadership as they worship and pray, pray for God to release you to your ministry. Yes, yeah. Amen. I said to send you to your ministry. Amen. To the work God has called you to. Amen. Amen. But he's not going to send lazy people. Yes. Yes. That's right. Amen. I had a guy ask me, why is it that uh, he, he, he called me one day, he was mad, he was mad with his pastor. And of course, people are always mad with their pastor. Say amen, somebody. I, amen. I used to be mad with my pastor too, amen, until I became diligent. Yeah. Why should your pastor uh, put you in ministry and you lazy? Come on. Amen. You don't have to come to church. Come on, look at me like that. I'm talking about the people that's not here. We're going to talk to them. Talk to them. The people here we're not talking to. Amen. I'm talking to them. Why, why should your pastor release you in the ministry and you don't give? Come on. Come on. It's quiet again in this Catholic church. Amen. <laughs> no, no. You, you have to be diligent. You have to be what? You have to be what? Yeah. You have to be diligent and not negligent. Okay? Okay, all right. Now, now when God spoke to me about the move of God, I'm getting a little deeper, all right? You all right? He began to talk to me about uh, the fivefold again. The, res the, the, the restoration of the fivefold as a unit. As a unit. In Ephesians chapter number four, we find these, these, these you can go there if you want to, well, how Jesus uh, gave gifts unto men. Now, the gift that he gave them, yes, was a gift of grace or a grace gift for them to function, but it was also, if you go back to the Old Testament, it was also symbolic to him giving them a portion of his mantle. Because every person that received the next received the mantle. Jesus was the only one that could release, his mantle is still being released. Amen. Still being released. Amen. Because he gave, when he released the mantle, he gave some apostles, yes. some prophets, Amen. some evangelists, Amen. some pastors, Amen. and some people. Now, Paul got this revelation but before we see all of these manifestations. Amen. Are you still with me? Amen. Paul gets this revelation of the fivefold that Jesus had released his mantle to. And look at your neighbor and say, for me. But you don't get it if, you do it if you're not doing it. There are more mantles that are being, that are being uh, held in heaven than there are in earth. Because we have negligent people. Look at your neighbor and say, I hope he's not talking about you. Because you are not diligent, or here's another word, because you are ignorant. Mm. Uh-oh, uh-oh, did I say a curse word? <laughs> because sometimes the reason people are not functioning is not because they don't, they, they, they're not, uh, they, 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 they can't be diligent, it's because they're ignorant. Yeah. Okay, tell you neighbor, say, I hope he's not talking about you again. <laughs> There are some ignorant fivefold ministry gifts. Yeah. Yeah. They don't, okay, what, when I talk about ignorance, I'm not talking about not knowing the word. Mm -hmm. 
I'm talking about not knowing prison truth. Yeah. Yeah. What is God doing today? Yeah. Not yesterday. Because too many people are still living from yesterday. Come on, don't look at me like that. Amen. Do you know that even marriages today are not like yesterday? Yeah. I wish we was, but we're not. I wish we could be like Adam and Eve. Praise the Lord, brothers. The brothers said, thank you, my brother. Thank you, thank you. You want me amen? I got amen. Is that your wife? Why didn't you say amen? You thought it, though, didn't you? I know you did. I know you did. You said, I can't say it too loud. Amen. No, you have to live marriages today. If I'm not like, because okay, if marriages was the, today was like yesterday, it would be arranged marriages. Yes. Yeah. You couldn't pick your own wife. Yeah. Yes. Ladies, y'all would be in trouble. Hey. Your daddy be selling you. Come on, say amen. <laughs> He'd be bending you off to the highest bidder. Amen. <laughs> That's what it would be. Because marriage today is, uh, what the word today is not like the word, from, I mean, to, to, what today is not like the word from yesterday. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ladies, you would be in trouble. You wouldn't, listen, you'd be barefoot in, 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 in bacon. Come on, say amen. Yeah. You would, that's all you'd be good for. <laughs> Why y'all looking at me like that? Amen. You'd be good for nothing. Amen. That's all they're going to do. That's all they're going to do is get you pregnant in, 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 in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. It's so y'all. They do that still in South Africa. Some, of, some people still do that in South Africa. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Call the Lebola. Yeah. Yeah. With somebody would come to me talking about Lebola. I <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of people mad with me right now. Amen. That's not the game. Amen. <laughs> I got all these daughters I'm trying to make some money. Me and my wife are trying to speak. Yeah. But you have to understand. And let me, let me hear the register closing and then I pray for you. We're going to get out of here because yeah, it's, too, it's, it's late. Amen. Now, when God started talking about this fivefold, you know, he said, he said I, want, I want them to understand the, the importance of it because. People keep talking about us coming to that we're getting closer to the coming of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But before the coming of Jesus, the church must become the perfect man. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Come on now. Yes. Now we know perfect in reality is not in the in, in the earth. Yeah. 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 So we know that's not perfect as, as without error. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that word perfect can't be without error. It must mean that it's something more potent than we see. Yeah. The Bible says, until we come to a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. So every church is called to become the measure of the stature of of the fullness of Christ. Amen. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, me and you, me and you are, called are called to become the measure, the measure of, the of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Can you imagine how much, what, what's, what's going to happen when a church gets the measure of the, come on somebody, Amen. of the stature of the fullness of Christ. I mean, people walk in the door and get healed. Yeah, amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. People, people, listen. We walk, listen, when you walk in the hospital, people just start getting out of bed. Amen. 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 Blind and eyes just start opening. Yeah. Yeah. People start getting delivered. Amen. Yeah. The yeah. demons start streaming out because you came to town. I think it was Charles Finley. I think that's who it was. Uh, they they said um, uh, before Charles Finley. I think it was Charles Finley, but I can't remember. But one of the one of the generals uh, back in the day, they said before he would get to a city, they would the bars would close, mm -hmm. and everybody would just start becoming righteous. Mm -hmm. 
And they would ask, why? Why is all this happening? They said, because Charles Finley has been to is coming to town. He was, he, his, his anointing was so strong that it reached the city before he got there. Amen. And it could be days before he'd be on a train coming. Come on, tell somebody that sounds like me. Amen. Amen. That's the power of anointing that I will, come on, say amen, somebody. Amen. That I believe we are supposed to walk in. Amen. As a matter of fact, I think we're supposed to walk in greater. Amen. Because Jesus said, who said it? Jesus. Jesus. Who said it? Jesus. Who said it? Jesus. Jesus said, them that believe on me. Come on, somebody. Are there any believers in the house right now? He said, them that believe on me. The works that I do. Oh, come on. Am I talking about somebody here? The works that I do show till they do also. Then he said, greater. In other words, this is what Jesus said. This is my own paraphrasal of the very verse. He said, what I'm doing ain't nothing compared to what she gonna do. What she gonna do. What he gonna do. I ain't doing nothing compared to what he gonna do. Say amen. Because the works I do, he gonna do also but. Come on, tell somebody, bosom is supposed to do greater, greater, greater. coming into the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Amen. So we've got to come to this revelation of being diligent and not negligent. Yes. A few years ago, oh, maybe about mm, not seven years ago, eight years ago maybe, Spirit of God began to talk to me about global ministry. Man, it's probably long been that, but he started talking to me about global ministry. And I started, you see, when I hear a word from God, I started confessing it. I was confessing I was going to be prosperous when I was driving that broke car, broke down car. Amen. I was. Amen. I didn't care. I was going to preach at people's church. Talk about prosperity. Amen. It involved me. Amen. And then I would go right out to my car, out, out to my car, and turn it on, and, would, and act like it didn't want to start. <laughs> it didn't bother me. Amen. It didn't bother me. You know why? Because I believe. Listen, yes. listen, listen. The word was my reality. Yes. Not my situation. Yes. Yes. say you dreaming. No, I'm not dreaming. The word is my reality. Amen. And faith, come on, say amen. amen. And don't take me there. Hallelujah. Amen. That's how I preach. My mama called me one day and told me, she said, she says, I didn't want to tell you, but I, I got cancer. And she said, they told me I'm, I don't they don't think I'm gonna be able to live. I said, what mama? She said, they told me I don't think I'm gonna I said, hold on, I put the phone down. I said, wait a minute. I had to jump into my mode. Come on, say amen. amen. This is no time to be the son of Vivian. That's what I'm going to say. Amen. I had to become the son of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. She said, so are you going to come come down? I said, no, mama. I said, right now, I speak the word. Amen. I won't have to come. Amen. The word is there. She went back to the doctor. They told her that they, they said because they told her the chemo wasn't going to do no good. She said she said uh, she went back to the doctor because she had to go to the doctor almost every week. The doctor said something's happened. You're even walking different. Hallelujah. She said I'm feeling different too. Amen. And the doctor said, well, what, "What's going on?" He, she said, "I don't know, but my son told me I was healed." Amen. The son is not telling you to do The son of God, come on, say amen. Yeah. Told you to do it. You are the Lord of God. You're a child of God, right? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. I'm not Jesus. I didn't say I was Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Amen. My hope for the Bible said, well, love, now are we the sons of God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. The works that he, that he did, we'll do also. Amen. Yeah. So why can't I speak the word? Amen. Yes. Yes. See, when you become global, you got to speak the word sometimes. I can't get to everybody. Amen. I, I just speak the word. Amen. I said amen. 
Amen. Now, you, if you receive it, it's up to you. Yeah. You got to receive it. You know, you can reject it if you want to, but that's your that's your death sentence. Amen. Not mine. Smith Wigglesworth, when he, he he would pray for people that come back in his line. He said, "Haven't I seen you before?" He said, "I'll get out of my line, you doubt." <laughs> So he, he wouldn't pray for people two times. He said, the first time I prayed, that was enough. That's how, don't look at me like that. Amen. Amen. And he didn't pray long. He just said, Father, in Jesus' name, heal. Yeah. Sometimes he would hit people. <laughs> and they said, why are you, why are you hitting me? He said, I'm not aiming at them. I'm aiming at that cancer. <laughs> he, said something, he said, sometimes they get in the way. Amen. That's, that's how he would talk. Amen. Reverend Hart Bucky. Yep. He didn't be he would be laughing while he was praying for people. Yep. <laughs> laughing. He said he was about to break out of this place. <laughs> laughing. And people start getting healed. Amen. Amen. Why he laughing? Yeah. Then I found out he was in the Bible. The Bible says we'll say aha. Amen. We will laugh at the devil. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Tell your neighbor you get ready to laugh. Amen. 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 Feeling anointing on me right now. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Time for the I feel like feel that anointing getting them. I think this happened last time I came up in here. I don't know what's going on in this church. Yes. Oh, yes, God. Anointing yes, getting yes, 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. But God began to talk about this powerful thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said to me, he said, son, the problem with the body of Christ uh, I mean, he said the problem with the church is that they're forgetting that they're the body. So we have many churches, but we don't have a body. And the body is what has the Christ in it. The body is what has the Christ. Come on, y'all. The crystal, the anointing. Come on, say the power, the presence. He said, but too many people, the reason that the church can't become the body is because too many people want to be the head. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Jesus is the head. Yes. yes. Amen. 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 Jesus is the yes. head. Amen. So, Mr. David said, not you. Not you. Not you. You want to run the church, but you, you don't want a church. You want a body, right? That's now. right. Yeah. Yeah. You need a body so you can put some crystal in it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. You want a body that he, so you can put some power in it. Amen. Yeah. But you got to have a, a body that's diligent. Yes. Are you still with me? Yeah. Yeah. Now, how does that happen? That happens by by the fivefold coming back to understanding their purpose. Until you come to the knowledge of your purpose, your existence is unnecessary. Did you hear what I said? Amen. You might want to write that down and, and check yourself. Until you come to the knowledge of your purpose, your existence is unnecessary. You mean nothing until you come to the knowledge of your purpose. Just like your membership is, 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 is unnecessary until you come to the knowledge of your purpose. Mm -hmm. yeah. Until you know why you're here, yeah. you're just wasting our time. Amen. You know people, there's people that they want the pastor's time. Why the pastor? Why he come to my house? Why you don't come to the hospital? Yeah. Why, 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 why. They want the pastor to do everything. Yes. Yes. But they forget they got a reason to be here too. Amen. Amen. Everybody in here is supposed to be laying hands. Everybody is supposed to be casting out devils. Yes. Yes. Well, I remember one time that my my, 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 my friend told me that uh the past the, the, the pastor lived about thirty five miles, which is about maybe uh that's about what sixty k's, fifty k's away. 
He lived from, 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 from the area where they were they had the church. And uh, they, were, they, they, they got together one night. They all decided they're going to get together and pray. When they prayed, one of these ladies fell out and manifested. Come on, say amen. She started, she started growling at them. Come on, say amen. She started growling and starting to crawl around like a snake. Come on, say amen. And they, they all were scared. They said, oh, what we going to do? Call the pastor. The pastor is 50 Ks away. Amen. And nobody, everybody's scared of the devil. Say amen. Why are you scared of the devil when the devil is scared of you? Amen. 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 I said amen. amen. Yeah, I walked up one, one time in my church. Uh, when, I, when we first got started, the, the, the man, the, 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 there was this witch. She called the church. We was in between service. We had some Sunday morning service, Sunday night service. So we had nothing to do in between service. So we sit at the church. We sit in the church all of a sudden. Phone call came in and I did my thing, you know, because I, when I was back in the day, I just had, you know, I, just, I was faking it. Come on, say amen. I, I would answer the phone like we was a big time in church. Amen. I, Hello, thank you for calling me. Help me. I said, yeah, I need to speak to the pastor. Hold, oh, please. Hello, this is Pastor Miller. How are you doing, man? She said, my name is Carol. She says, I'm a witch. She said, and I'm going I'm, I'm to destroy your church. I said, excuse me? She said, my name is Carol, and I'm a witch. And I'm going to destroy your church. She said, it's two of us. I said, really? I said, hold, please. What the what? I said, I said, you serious? Is this a joke? She said, I'm not joking. And I could hear in her voice. Yeah. <clears throat> and the first time I could hear the devil. <clears throat> first time I heard the devil. And so so she she uh she uh <laughs> she said, I'm coming to your church tonight. <laughs> A boldness rose up in me. I said we start at 7 30. <laughs> Because one day you're going to have to realize who you are. Amen. So guess what I did? I called the members. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, those of you, I called the ones I knew were coming. I, I knew because I knew everybody was coming. Amen. I said, I need you to get here about an hour early. Amen. We're going. They didn't know why they was coming. But I knew why they was coming. Amen. When they got there, I began to come into warfare. Amen. I, come on. Shout out. They come on. No effort. He shout no revelation. It goes to the Hala. No sorcery. I command every witch who's powerless. They didn't know what they didn't want to like that. You know, they was used to saying, Oh, come on. No, we got time for that today. We got a witch coming to church tonight. And I need the body of Christ. Y'all still with me? Yes. yes. We need the body. Come on. Yes. 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 And then I found out that she came to church, right? And she sat there and couldn't move. Yes. I knew it was her because we, we, we had all blacks. It was only one white. <laughs> she came in there and she was a nice looking woman. She came in there and, and they gave her a visitor's card. I'm the only one who knew. Who she was. And they would bring the visitors' cards to me. And I said, okay, Carol is here. I said, okay, Jesus. We did our part. You said, well, listen, you said, you said what we bind on earth shall be bound of heaven. Now heaven get involved. She was sitting there and couldn't move. Next thing you know, she was up doing praise. And she was singing. People were saying that. She was tapping her hands with us. She was smiling. Come on, first she was scared. Because she knew she walked into something. Amen. See, when you walk in this church, yes. you got to walk into something. There's a crystal that you walk into. Hallelujah. I said, there's a crystal. Hallelujah. There's an anointing you walk into and yours be destroyed. And there's a crystal you walk into and, and I blind eyes open. There's a crystal you walk into and death. Come on, say amen, somebody. Yeah. The devil's got to go. Yeah. 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 Amen. 
You still with me? Amen. Because there's a crystal. That the fivefold, see, that's why God gave me the fivefold in this church, see. Yes. There's some apostles and prophets yes. in this church, yes. evangelists and pastors yes. and teachers, but sometimes we forget our purpose. Yes. The purpose is to get us to the measure yes. of the stature yes. of the fullness of Christ. Yes. Are you still with me? Yes. It's not about your ego. Yes. It's not about your title. Yes. It's about where God wants us to get before Jesus comes. Yes. Because we have an assignment as the perfect man. We have to reach this region. We have to reach this nation. We have to reach the nations. We have to reach this continent. We have to reach this state. But come on, we got to reach this prophet. That's the things you reach. Amen. That you, listen, listen, that principalities are not going to just let you walk in. You're going to have to be ready. You're going to have to be diligent to make your calling and election sure. Amen. Let me close. I know you thought I was closing, but I'm closing now. <laughs> Two places I want to close it. Number one, close it. When, when, when Paul was in Ephesus, when he went to Ephesus, because Apollos was not there, I, I kind of feel like Apollos had something to do with the, the leadership of that 12. Mm -hmm. Paul gets there, and Paul finds the 12, and he asked me, he says, he says, he, he asked me, he said, have you received the Holy Ghost yeah. since you believed? Mm -hmm. They said, we haven't even heard of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. See, there's a lot of churches you go to that people haven't even heard of some of the stuff your man of God preaches. Yeah. 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 Because they're living off of past yeah. truth, yeah. of old manner. They said, he said, well, well, well what, what baptism have you baptized? Will you baptize? They said, John's baptism. Mm -hmm. They were living off of a dead man's revelation. Mm -hmm. But even John, Paul said, Paul said, even John taught y'all that there's coming one great. Amen. Amen. He said he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost. I guess they didn't come to church next Sunday. Because that was what he said. John, because you saw it in Scripture. John preached about this. Say that, y'all. John preached about this because he's a prophet. He was preaching about about future future a future uh, 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 truth. Amen. About what was going to happen. He talked about what Jesus was going to do before Jesus did it. Amen. He was the pioneer. Yes. Prophets tell us what's going to happen. Yeah. So we know where to move. Yeah. We know what direction to go in. Yes. Yes. Bible says Paul baptized them. He laid his hands on them. They received the Holy Ghost. Yes. But the Bible says and. Mm -hmm. Somebody say and. Yes. And they prophesied. Yes. This is your last day with doing something less than an and. Mm -hmm. This is your last day doing something that's less than an and. Amen. Yes. There's going to be an and added Amen. to it. Amen. 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 Somebody say and. Amen. Say and's coming to my life. Amen. 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 God's going to do some stuff. And. Come on, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not He's going to give me a business. And. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's going to be an and added to your life. Amen. But that's close. When Jesus as the body of Christ at that time tells the disciples let's go to the other side mm -hmm. yes. on their way to the other side there arose a storm mm -hmm. right yes. storm so great that the boat could have sunk mm -hmm. Jesus the body of Christ is in the boat yes. the crystal yeah. is in the bottom of the boat yeah. Sleeping. Yes. Look how strong the anointing is. Amen. Look how strong the body of Christ is. 
that in the midst of a storm is sleeping. <laughs> storms reveal several things about you. First, storms reveal uh, the, the, the type of an anointing that you're carrying. Yes. Remember on the other side what's waiting on them. Yeah. Excuse me, or what's waiting on him. Yes. But does not want him to come. Yeah. Here's a man with 6,000 devils. Yeah. And you talk about the witch. Yeah. You're just getting the witch. Here's a man with 6,000 demons. A legion. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, we have the legions. Hallelujah. Yeah. in one man. They know Jesus is on the way. Yeah. So they send the storm. Maybe what you're facing is because of where you're going. Maybe your situation is because of who you are. and start coming out. I said, come on out. The real you, come on, come tell your neighbor, make the real you stand up. Hallelujah. The real you needs to stand up. Hallelujah. The real you got something to say about this. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord taste up. The Bible says, death and life is in the power of my tongue. Devil got something to say. I got something to say too. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. The storm reveals what is on the other side. Yeah. The body of Christ yeah. is on its way. Yeah. 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 And I've had some serious encounters. I was on my own flight headed to Botswana from War Tone. Got in the plane. And as soon as we got in there, see, these people think I love to fly. I don't like to fly. <laughs> I like to get where I'm going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As fast as possible. Amen. I'm not catching no boat to South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> You can't drive. You do understand that, right? Yeah. So I'm on this plane to go to Barcelona. And they put me, they told me I was gonna be in one B. Well, see, normally on a plane in America, when they say one B, that's first class. Mm -hmm. So I was excited. I'm gonna be in one B. I'm thinking I'm gonna be in first class. I said something, oh God, thank you. I get on the plane, everybody got the same seat. <laughs> I'm just at the front. And then I, and then when you get on the on the plane, you got to get on in the back and walk to the front. <laughs> so I get to the front, I sit down. Nobody's sitting next to me, which is a good thing. I'm sitting there. All of a sudden, while I'm sitting there, this man, dark skinned, brown skinned man, he walks out of the cockpit while we're in the, in the air. He does not open the cockpit. He steps through the cockpit. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Some of y'all will get it. It's not a man. Amen. But he looks yeah, like a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to tell you about your boyfriend. He looks like a man. But he's just a boyfriend. Come on, say amen. All right. He's a boy. That's just going to only be your friend. All right. Got you. Okay. That wasn't what I was talking about. All right. He looks the part. He steps to the cockpit. And he comes. He steps over me and sits in, in, in seat A. And he looks at me and he says, I'm going to kill you on this plane. I'm going to crash this plane. You are not going to make it to Botswana. For everything in me wanted to fear. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. My hair, my ears, come on, say amen. My, my, my lips, amen. Everything wanted to be fearful. And I was ready to be fearful. And the Spirit of God spoke to me and said, don't receive the spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, 
He said, He said, He's more afraid of you yes. than you are of Him. Yes. Because, see, you can't have fear until it's given to you. Yes. The fear that I'm talking about when you understand who you are. Yes. So, so I'm on this, I'm on this, I said, Oh, I said, I'm going to cash you out some people when I get to my son. I said, your kingdom is coming now when I get the bus on. He's like, it's not. You're not going to make it there. I said, yes, I am. I said, in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you don't remember nothing but the name. I said, if you don't remember nothing but the name. Hallelujah. Do you know his name? Amen. I said, do you know his name? Amen. What's his name? Jesus. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I said, what's his name? Jesus. Yeah, if you don't know nothing but the name. Hallelujah. Amen. One thing the devil can't stand Amen. is the name. Yeah. He don't like the name. Yeah. I mean, I said in the name of Jesus. He said, I don't say that name. I said, I said in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And I, well, I'm bold now. Amen. I'm bold. I was so bold, I stood up on the plank. Yeah. People looking at me, I said, they, they, they don't see what I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. So he started trying to shake the plane. He's doing everything. I stood up. I stand up. I said, you got to go in Jesus' name. Amen. I said, I'll deal with you again when I get to Botswana too. Amen. Amen. He disappeared. Amen. Amen. When you come to this place of knowing who you are, Amen. would you become diligent yes. Yes. and not negligent? Mm -hmm. You don't give place to the devil. Amen. Amen. Are you still here? Yes. So when these things start happening, don't go, don't go to crying about it. Yes. Or if you're going to cry, cry and pray. Yes. Cry and talk. You talk faith. Yes. Cry and talk faith. But I trust you. Yeah. With tears rolling on your face. I trust you. Yeah. I trust you. Yeah. Hallelujah. I believe that weeping may endure for a night time. But joy is coming. Hallelujah. I said, my joy is coming. I don't know what you got to do, but don't you doubt God. Yeah. Somebody say, doubt. doubt. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. Doubt to get out. Hallelujah. Yeah. I said, tell your doubt to get out. Hallelujah. Yes. I will not doubt. Doubt, get out. Yes. Bring every thought into the captivity. Yes. To the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. I pull down every stronghold. Yes. Uh, every fortress. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Zukata, wake him up and tell him to play that song. Kata, like shata. Come on, son, you can play that song. Hallelujah. Come on, pray in the spirit just for a minute. Kota, kata, shata. Rada, da, kata, le, koska, da, ha, shata. Rada, le, ho, shata, le, ho, hushke, hele, ho, hushka, da, ha, ya, kata. Zik, reina, da, hele, ho, hushka, da, ha, ya, kata, 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 kata. Rada, come on, strong, 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 strong. Father, we release into the mold is like never before. Huh? We repent of, uh, of, of negligence. We repent of ignorance. We will not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy.